So the purpose of redesign uh, at its basis is accreditation of your school. It um, allows for a lot of teacher leadership and really doing things in a way that work best for your community and your students. Why did you guys choose to go with the idea of redesign? Um, several reasons. Uh, we liked the idea of having more voice in our process. We felt like we were good teachers, but maybe some of the things we'd been doing weren't working as well with students anymore. How did the process of redesign start? So we were kind of following on Twitter and, and online the Apollo districts. Um, some of us knew that redesign was on the horizon and we were curious about it. And so we went to a conference in Manhattan where all the Apollo schools spoke and we attended their sessions and we got really excited about some of the cool things they were doing and we thought, you know, we would like to go through this process too. How long did you guys study, prepare for redesign for the new school year? Oh, well, officially, once we decided to pursue redesign as a building, um, we started a book study right away in the summer of 2018, our entire staff did. Um, so we've, some of us have spent probably 18 months. Um, did you guys have any challenges or hardships along the way? Finding enough time was our biggest challenge. Um, how did they vote and how did that process work? Each of the buildings in the district voted via a Google survey and you had to have at least 80% of your staff vote yes. And what's your favorite thing about redesign? I love that we can take our process and make it work for our kids. That it's not something that's come from the national government or the state government where everybody's one size fits all. That we can look at our kids and our community and what our needs are and build a process around that.